Amongst the many proofs of Islam's truthfulness is that Islam speaks to the predisposition and innate belief that God has put in the hearts of every human. Take the concept of God, for instance. The idea of God is simple, understandable, and not complex as in other religions. Islam teaches the existence of only one supreme being, who is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving, and who created the whole universe and everything in it. All other beings are creations of God, and not the actual creator. All the great religious disputes of the past pointed to one God, including Judaism. If there were more than one God, there would be chaos of gods fighting each other for control. If the gods did not fight each other for power and control, that would mean that these gods were dependent on and submissive to each other. In other words, not gods. All past prophets of God mentioned in the Old Testament stressed the teachings of one creator. Islam acknowledges the historical progression of these great prophets sent by God to humanity, starting with Prophet Adam, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. Islam acknowledges the continuation of these great prophets of God, all who came with the same general message. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is part of this family of prophets, like Jesus Christ and the rest. While all prophets came down with the same general message in theology, the laws they came with were fine-tuned based on the time, place, and circumstances of their existence. Muslims believe in all the past prophets and messengers that God continually sent, and Prophet Muhammad's message was no different. The prophets of God that Islam teaches were all holy, righteous men. None ever did anything immoral or questionable as other religions, such as Christianity, wrongfully claimed. For those who think that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, might have fabricated his prophethood for worldly gain, it is imperative to realize that the Prophet, believers from his family, and his companions went through many years of persecution, hardship, and lost kinship because they believed in and spread the message of God just like the past prophets of God and their followers. Prophets of God came down not wanting any worldly gain. They wanted only to spread the word of God, causing them great hardship.